Hi guys, welcome to Monocure 3D Pro Tips. In this episode, we're gonna check out how to level the build plate on this Elegoo Mars. So what we need to do is we need to loosen these two nuts here and that frees the build plate up. It allows it to move up and down and also it allows it to bend 360 degrees around that's going to get you proper level so the reason we need to level the build plate is without a proper level then you can have problems with the print not sticking to the build plate which is a problem very disappointing when you print for 12 hours and there's nothing stuck to the build plate in the instruction manual it suggests that you use a piece of paper i recommend you use the uh, vat in place with the fep that you're using and the reason being is that fep sheets can come in different thicknesses. For example, we sell the 100 and the 200. This is double the thickness of this one. You know, if you were gonna use the 100 micron or the 200 micron and then put the build plate down to 100 micron, you'd be 100 micron short. So it makes sense to use the vat with the FEP that you're actually using to do the leveling. First thing we need to do is loosen these. This comes with this tool, really simple, in here and just loosen in this side here and loosen. You can see 360 degree around and up and down. So there's a spring in there, which is a nice feature. Some of these printers come with a manual homing. This actually has a sensor, this printer at the back here. And what that sensor does is it says, this is my home position, okay? So you don't need to set home on this. What you do need to do, and that's why it's, it has this spring loaded part here, is to come to the menu and you hit the tool button and then this manual button and then this one here that looks like the bill plate down in the bottom of the vat. And now what that's gonna do, it's gonna lower the Z axis and it's gonna put the bill plate in the bottom of the vat. So just try and line it up. You don't want it sort of to, you know, come in like this. Just try to have it, you know, set so it's looking as, as straight and flat as it can. Also important, don't do this with resin in the vat, okay? It needs to be done without resin. That's settled now. I come in here and I just sort of straighten it up a little bit to make sure that I'm happy with its actual positioning. And then it's as simple as, now that's in position, is just tightening these back up. You can see here with this um, other hand, I'm holding down the build plate and that's just keeping it nice and flat and I'm making sure that it's not gonna move while I'm doing uh, this, this process. And that's you know pretty important too. So then just make sure the other one's done up as well and nice and tight but not you don't know you don't need to go absolutely crazy with it that's it so now i can raise the build plate up and put it back into position getting ready to print it's a simple process it's easy to do a good thing to do when you get the printer new but also a good thing to do uh, if your prints aren't uh, working as expected they're not adhering to the build plate it's a really good thing just to check just do it to you know peace of mind to know that it actually is level and flat it's not something like fdm printing that you need to do on a too regular basis i mean once it's set if they're all done up tight and nothing really moves then it should be okay uh, it's only if you do notice a problem that your prints aren't sticking then it's one of the things you can look at so there you go guys it's a simple thing to do that's how you level the build plate on the Lego mars don't forget to subscribe to the channel and remember keep on 3d printing